Hello. Let's model this scissor lift in Fusion 360. Uh, this is a good exercise for joints. The sketches we will use are very simple. And um, the, the features as well, just simple extrusions. Let me show you a run through the timeline here. So let's start with a sketch on the front face. I'll use the center rectangle here and dimension that with an overall length of 166. And a slot center to center here, a circle over there, a height of 22, diameter of that circle is 12, at a distance of 12, same thing over here. A length of that slot of 48 and an equal relationship between those diameters and then constrain that horizontally here and make that here a full circle as well. So that's our first sketch of two sketches. I'll exit that, go into the extrude, take this region, operation, I will make a new body, a symmetric extrusion of an overall measurement of 88 and accept that. So I'll call that component base and um, keep that sketch visible turn that towards me and ground our base, make another extrusion here of that region, another component, I'll go into isometric view here. A symmetry again and an overall distance of 104 millimeters. So that is a little dark here. I'll press A and look in the fusion appearances under paint, powder coat rough, and give that arm that yellow appearance here and close that. That component as well, well I call that pin and 
ground that as well. Okay, so we got those two. And I'll make one more extrusion of that flexible pin, so to say. New component. Symmetric, overall distance. Again, 104. Okay. Apply that appearance to our component here. Okay, so my component is free to move here. And I press J to go into the, the joint um, environment and choose the pin slot joint. Hover over that cylindrical face and pick that point. So that is snapped to component one, which is that one. And then I'll go to my sketch here and pick that one. Go into the motion tab here in the linear um, definition, pick zero as the minimum at that point, and a maximum of those 48. 48. Okay, so we can hide that sketch, and we we get now this joints folder and I right click on that and go to animate joint relationship and that is what we want right okay escape and that animation so we get our three components base pin and pin slot we get that joint can animate that joint and now let's make a copy of those three here right click copy right click paste move that up and Let's apply those two joints we need here. First, uh, a rigid between this point here and pressing control. I can pick that triangle here and then um, that pin slot joint between that one and again control picking that one motion minimum maximum 48 so this is f still free to move and We can constrain this um, group with a pin slot joint. Go up here. I notice the 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 x axis going upwards. That's what what I want. And do that again here. And go to that definition, make it the minimum, and accept that.
go to home position and lock the rotation. So, okay, now let's make our final sketch here on that face with a um, slot. Here, project that circle and that edge of that circle. Constrain those. Here, again. Dimension those eight millimeters. One more circle here in the center. Make that equal to that one. Finish the sketch. Go into extrude. Take those two um, make a new component. Of um, four millimeters thick. Call that componer component scissor. Apply an appearance of green. We need that sketch for one more thing, that rivet. Take that circle, make a new component, eight millimeters, accept that. Call that component here, rivet. and apply red to that one. Okay. Now, um, let's hide that sketch. And apply a revolute joint between that edge and that one. With M, I make a copy of that one, and I'm still on the revolute. Apply that. Okay. Continue with the revolute. That edge and that edge. And one more time. That edge and that edge. Then um I notice that this is still needs to be constrained. So I'll, I'll use a cylindrical joint now. This gives me an additional degree of freedom and can pick that on that face and that on that face. Okay. And this is automatically constrained because of our scissor position. All right, so there's that. I press M 
pick those three, make a copy, move that over there, accept that, and apply my joints. So let's start with the Revolute. Pick that edge and that one. Pick that edge and this one. Then this here and there. This and this. And then the cylindrical. Take this and that. And that finishes our model or assembly. And now let's go into the pin slot made here, the, the very first one, and animate the joint relationship. So everything's working fine. I hope you liked the video. If you liked it, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe and talk to you soon.